Wait there. Firstly, you have to release music. Uh, me, the sound. So you gotta release the sound. Digger. Oh my god. <laughs> this is live. This is what we're talking about. No. I'm alive. I still prefer the other track, but yeah. No, man. I'm alive, man. I'm alive. This is me. Going to the streets. Really. Going to the streets. <laughs> Welcome back, man. Welcome back. Our monthly uh-huh. time of month or every two weeks or whenever we can do it, man. Taking out Trashly Podcast, part of the yes. Apple world. Yes. What's on the agenda today, man? What's on the agenda? The agenda. The agenda. Uh, what did I sh- What did I send you? And what shall I speak on? Which one pops out to you? Pop it up, up, e. We're just gonna have the list, man. We got a few stuff. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm just rising right now to the tune. Woo! I am tired, I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired but you know, the tune was a tig. Yeah. <laughs> See where they have to uh, I don't even know where the topics are. How do we feel about fake reviews of what really goes on? This was like you ain't got nothing better to talk about, really, though. No. I'm like, <laughs> I don't understand how people can be pissed off with getting free shit just to type. Oh, it was really good. Really? Are you really telling me it made it onto this morning? And people talking about TikTok and the internet news. I was thinking you're taking the mic now. Actually, wait there, wait there. Me. Last time I was on TikTok, he was like, I've been coming off TikTok. Yeah, I was. But ever since, yeah. uh, ever since man, I've seen you posting loads of stuff on TikTok. So wait, I've been banned doing? now. I've been banned because <laughs> what it was, I, I was right sharing with people's stuff because I thought, you know what, I'm not on here. Because I don't know how TikTok works. I was aware on there. I thought, let me just see what I've... I was like, hold on, I can see people's stuff. I was like, oh, then this is funny. Putting it on the status. So I started putting it out there. Do you know what I mean? Because I thought people like to have views. So I thought, if you like the views, I'm, I'm doing you a shout out on my page. So I put the things on there. Since I started putting it on there, I got banned from there. I was like, oh, okay. I got to yeah, sign up, basically. Yeah. So you've been stealing people's videos. It's open to share. It's actually you've been open to share. It, you've been resharing it back on TikTok. No, I've been resharing it on because I'm not on TikTok because I haven't signed up for it. Um, I shared it on my Instagram page, like, oh, have a look at this. You got what I'm saying to you? Yeah. I don't know for the love of Lana Christ in God. And they burnt, banned you for that. It's like I have to sign up now. And I'm like, well, what was the difference? I was viewing it. I was sharing for time on, you know, my WhatsApp status. And all of a sudden, you know, um, yeah, can't go no further. I'm like, okay, keep your TikTok because it ain't that serious. I'm not that hooked. I'm not the one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the one. <laughs> yeah. We're going back. So the fake reviews. So you basically mm. went there, you buy some food off Amazon. And then obviously I'm assuming that, you know, you know, you got the third party thing and obviously people on Amazon got other businesses and they're thinking, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's called aggressive marketing. You're getting free shit just to share what you think about these products to get it sold. I don't know why they turned it into such a negative you know what I mean? Probably, obviously, people are probably upset with their details getting sent out and random stuff getting sent. But at the same time, I'm assuming it was good product. You got good product. You got to say it. Just put a review, put it down on there, yeah. and you get to keep the things. You don't need to send it back. The time you don't need to send it back. I think that's a good thing because at the end of the day, they give samples in town, don't they? They don't know you, but they chop up the um, the ting them, the sugary ting them. People walk by and yam it. If you like it, you come back. If you don't, you know what I mean? Go on to Burger King. Mm. You know what I'm saying to you? This is what I'm saying. So what was your problem? Why was it such a big news and turned into something bad? Like it was sending out COVID on mail. <laughs> 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 no, no, seriously, what I was watching it, the way they went on was like it was COVID. Mm. It was COVID. It's not COVID. They're sending out free stuff. They just need help. They want their business. Everything's shutting down. Shops are broken down or whatever. They need some things. They need a shout out. So... I don't know what's wrong, people. It does seem petty. Petty carry it. <laughs> carry, carry. I think it's just yeah. um, it's a good way to get your name out, really. I think mm. I mean, in a world that's really so competitive, especially that everything's been put onto the internet now and you're trying to get people to come to your site. There's, mm. so, many, there's so many voices, but there's also so much noise, you know, and you're trying to stand yeah. out a little bit more. Of course. And if you don't mind just saying to somebody, look, you know, just give me a review if you make it look like, you know, give it gives you favorable rank rankings on Amazon. They show yours first. Mm. It's got the best reviews. Yep. Obviously, it's like, yeah, they will buy from them because you trust them. 
even if the stuff's mm. rubbish, you know, or they never got the stuff, but they just mm. choose to do it. So of course, real talk. Well, man. real talking. I think it was just silly, but yes. I think I think that's it should be. I don't know if it should be illegal. That's like saying you know paying for people to watch YouTube videos and stuff. I don't know if it should be illegal. It's probably a little bit unfair because, you know, like, obviously that's what the big companies have always been doing, really. They just pay more people to watch their stuff through, like, advertising, yeah. for example. They advertise more mm. for more people to watch. It's the same way of just paying for someone to watch. Yeah. Really. You pay an advertiser to push it into people's, uh, push, it, push it in front of the people's faces. Okay. And I don't think it should be because for that because at the end of the day, that's why media's done it. They make people so hungry out there that they're not going to comment on your things, even though it's good. Mm-hmm. They want to know that everyone else is seeing it and you got to be a like. So, oh, and once we know that there's 10 million people, fake people, counts logged on there, oh, I'll make a comment. Mm. Oh, I'll press a like. You get what I'm saying? The, 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 the whole system did it to the self, to itself. Mm. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how good it is. If I don't know, you ain't got that much people. I'm not commenting. You get the random people who are just calm and like, yeah, I like it. But then they got the ones that are fame hungry, which comes like it's 80% of people the most you must have a standard amount of likes before I say shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like kings and queens out there, you need to calm down, calm down. So yeah, I I agree with people putting things out there because it's free stuff, but I don't agree with giving that info. But if they ask you, can I send you something free? Just tell us honestly what you like. Then that's okay. But I think people are scared about, I don't know who where this is from. I didn't know you'd order nothing. But it still shouldn't have been turned into a bad thing if you're getting free shit. If someone sent me a free wig, <laughs> I'm telling all my friends to make a comment. <laughs> get me. They didn't get a wig, but I got a wig. <laughs> everybody gets everybody actually, to make uh, a comment. There's actually like hair treatments. Actually, for, mm. any, uh, for people who are having trouble with their hair, there's actually treatments. I think I sent you something last uh, a couple of days ago, and mm. it's like some oil. Put, I've got a lot. I've got a lot of oils out there. Do you know what I mean? I use a lot of things. Not olive so, yeah. oil. It's like put something. You said it was the. Yeah, and I've got, I've, I've a lot. Of, I've a lot of um, oils and stuff. But um, my my hair's different to everybody else's. I just won't put any and anything on there. A lot of people are aware, to be honest. I'm really chuffed that everybody is above and beyond on it. Woke. I'm so chuffed. So yeah. Amazing. So yeah, we are aware. We are aware. <laughs> even black. even the you know what the Caucasians are using the using the products too. Not like, yes, your hair is no longer dry when you got curly hair. It's curly now. <laughs> but yes, uh, that woke is passed on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this is this uh, black blade. <laughs> but, um, shameless promotion, obviously. Black blade is a uh, hair selling essential oils, which is supposed to be ready. Let me see if I can get this to come up in English. What it's in English now, but black blade. Oh, it's like some hair. You know, <laughs> I've seen this before, man. It's that, that like really shiny gold trimming. Actually, let me send you the um the link. It's like for some hair care in it. Let me see mm. the link. Like this. Probably should start doing video podcasts soon. Mm. And yeah, you can uh, add some. I'll just send you links of trimmer, but for some reason, some sort of oils too. Never mind. In two weeks, Never it starts mind. to grow a beard and it <laughs> smells good. So I want a beard. The thing is, oh. I don't know if you know, <laughs> the thing is, it doesn't ever seem like to me it shows all men like like men are the only people lose their hair. I mean, I guess that's the case, but women lose their hair too, I guess. But whose fault is that? The media makes it seem like you, you you can't be happy with what's natural and what goes on. So you must get this by that. And people are buying into it. Mm. And I think that's wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You want natural, but then you're cussing in another breath. So people going out the way to go, this, that, this, that, this, that. You know what I'm saying? So then it backfires when they're older and they're having problems and all that shit, or their kids having that problem. No one thinks ahead. They just think literally there and now. I'm like, is it a good or a bad thing? Because you're not supposed to stress about the, the future. You're supposed to live there and now. But when people do things there and now, literally, it's fucking up you need to think before you say something because everyone's talking like their grandchild won't have problems their own husband won't have problems they won't have problems they're talking yeah it's ridiculous i'm not going to go into it oh, the stress 
I'm going to end up drinking the oil at this point. Drinking it down. Drinking you it just down. Just it on your head. That's all you're doing. It works out. I'm going to need it. The stress that people come off with these days. What's next? What's next? What's uh, next? Uh, yeah. What's the next topic? Um, sorry, I lost the, the page. Hang on one second. I'm just going to round this a little bit more. You lost the page? This is yeah, cold I dust. At, I was looking at Black Blade. Yo, did you, yo, you can't come from the page. You must step on the page. <laughs> Stay on the page. <laughs> Stay on there. Okay. Uh, next topic is. Mm-hmm. Uh, why? Oh, why do some wear masks when told and others get to skip it? Yeah, because I was watching the uh, someone pull up on Instagram about Carno West and. Uh, that other geezer, Steve Harvey. Yeah. And I'm thinking, so this is so dramatic, but for some reason, because I work and I earn this amount of much and I'm an entertainer, I'm going to go into a chicken shop and not wear a mask. Mm. I didn't know COVID picked and chose who they wanted to infect. It's coming like it, 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 it's a human human <laughs> induced infection where they literally take their own hand and put it on you because you can't tell me if it was that serious you're gonna let celebrities come into your team without a mask on you got you literally tell me you're gonna risk your life for a celebrity fuck your kids fuck your wife mm-hmm. it's as plain as i've just put it they've walked in there probably bought the same amount of of, of chicken that the average working person buys. You didn't benefit from it other than the warts in there. Mm. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, someone put on Facebook exactly what I was thinking eight minutes ago, but he was talking about the train. I was speaking about the boss. I was thinking, hold on. I'm out and about every day, and I see these, these bus drivers with no mask on, and they pick up everybody day to day to day to day, hours on end. But they're shutting down Birmingham. Are you, are you serious? I had to start a day because I'm like, did you hear me right? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. It really don't make no sense. You can't have buses going in and out knowing that the people are saying masks don't work. People take it down to probably yam a food, drink a drink, put it back up. And you're telling me in that so-called time of COVID, the droplets are not going into the bus driver very money stuck in the same place for hours. Mm-hmm. It's not going out the window. We've seen when people sneeze, it doesn't go out the window. It travels around to the nearest person. So how are you getting away with it? But yet, Birmingham's getting locked down. I'm thinking, people are wise enough thinking, you're taking the piss now. You're right taking the piss. Public transport. Public transport. And people are getting a normal cold and flu every day. I'm thinking, it's COVID. The, the films are jumping hand, hand in hand to help with the fear. Mm. And that's what pisses me off. It helps with the fear mongering. And on top of that, it's just like so much going on. Which issue do you focus on who's covering what for what what the fuck happened to 5g yo where's 5g <laughs> where the hell is 5g what happened is they put it up and no one was dying so they're like oh it wasn't 5g then it was something else oh for fuck's sake yeah but covid's going on but no one's really dying other than the one nurse that was really upset about the fact that they're giving wrong doses but that went on um ignored by the by the sheep you know what I mean? She put it out there. People, doctors themselves have been putting it out there. Wrong doses, not COVID. Marking it as COVID, even though it wasn't COVID. I got killed by a train. It's COVID. And, and it gets ignored. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? And people are still wearing masks and walking around all feeble because they're so desperate to cling on to life. What for? Have you seen how life is? Life is full of shit right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying to you? It's full of shit right now. It went on holiday and come back. You know what I'm saying to you? No, it's, if it was there, which I know it isn't, People became immune a long time. Have you seen how many whore girls will go out on the street and shag and suck? Man, yeah, man. For, I'm sorry, I'm saying it as it is. This is wild go on. <laughs> You're worried about COVID. You need to put... How am I seeing? Back in the day, I used to see beer johnnies on the floor. Now I'm seeing beer masks. There's the issue. Do you see an issue? I'm no longer seeing cop dubs on the floor. I'm seeing masks. <laughs> That's the, old, the floor, man, that's the it? only protection because you know since i was young i was young and i stepped to the whole pile of shit since then it made me conscious i've always looked on the floor this is why i always find money phones and people's credit cards and i don't use not one of them i send them back to the people and i call up the people and say your phone's with me come get it yeah. you know what i'm saying to you? 
But when I'm seeing, yeah. So when I'm seeing, hold on, I'm seeing masks instead of common thinking. So so what happened? No one's using protection anymore. <laughs> I, don't think I think there's a ban on it at the moment. You're not supposed to be courting or getting with anybody at the moment. Anyway, not that you should, should listen to that. But that's what. This yo, is. this was from yo, this was from a long time. So I've seen beer masks on the floor. You see beer condoms. Mm. What I'm saying is, people just thought I'm not using it anymore. <laughs> They're using more condoms on their face. The rest it looks like. <laughs> can't deal with this life I can't deal I can't deal I just don't get it but yeah that's why I always spot things because that time you know when you got a strong black what black black bro, I start mum and I went to tell you about yo you stepped in shit you back up you stepped in more shit go over there you step in a how many times did I need to step in shit in a space of 10 seconds yo yo <laughs> This is why I spot everything. I'm like, yo, let me just be cautious. It's never left me. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, over 30 years, I've been uh, very woke. <laughs> What's next? What's next? Well, I think we've, uh, we've got married at first sight. Oh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Married at first sight. Uh, have you ever watched it? No, I, I, I did watch something strange that was a show that was <laughs> picking people down to when they're, like, when they're naked. Naked, I don't know if it's called naked. That's attraction. naked attraction. Rubbish. <laughs> oh, God, what the hell is this, man? <laughs> Seems really we cough out liquor COVID. <laughs> Nigga, oh my God, women, I mean, I watched that. Oh my God, I was like, yo, yo, you need to go, yo. I just don't right. need to be seeing this. But yeah, married, married at first, first sight. Yeah, married at first sight. No one's <laughs> married until at least 45 to their, and if they're with their person for at least 10 years, don't get married. Before. No, 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 not 10 years, maybe five. Don't get married. Men don't get married to you 45. Don't mess around with that stuff, man. It's not I've got it. I've got I've got a different view on that. I think I seen a post not long ago. But getting straight into it, it was like, how come you lot have realised your issue once you once you've got into that predicament? Did you not know your issues before you got there? This is what I don't understand. Mm. People coming on there, all of a sudden they've got these issues rare to One man saying that, oh it makes great showing if you kind of match the wrong people together, but you should already know your own issues that you have before you're looking to get married. One of them's acting like a player, it's to ditch the other woman for the other one. I'm thinking, hold on, you knew the one you was already matched with was decent, and the other one was more sexually, you was attracted to her. After messing with her head, nearly leaving the woman, you went back to the other one. And I'm thinking, yo, is this what, you, this, is this what you're doing? Why did you come to the show? If you're feeling like that, you should have left. You should have just left. This isn't wife swap. Mm-hmm. This is married at first sight, and I just sit, watch the show, and I've seen so many... Issues. I even spotted a narcissist from the beginning, and I'm thinking them lot as people who are supposed to be top notch on these things, experts. You couldn't spot a narcissist when you're seeing one. Are you kidding me? It goes to show people, most people that are trained intelligence don't have common sense. They're lacking a lot. They're not as smart as a normal person that's had it naturally, rather than getting um, taught it in college or whatever. It goes to show. I don't understand how you could not. Either you did and you really wanted the show to be lit, top-notch and exciting, or you really didn't know, because not once did any of them say, hold on, he's saying, he's, you know, he's kind of love-bombing out, which is a narcissist will do. Oh, she's beautiful, you're amazing. Oh, my God, you're so great. Look at your hair. Where you? you know what I'm saying to you? And when I watched it all the way through, I didn't have, need any one of them to tell me the narcissist. I could spot it all. After he went with and all that stuff, he come like he showed his true colours. He showed his true colours. He wasn't a nice person. I could see. I could see that the other one wasn't too interested in the same girl. He was going to leave, which was the name of Divina. I could tell that he wasn't going to go to, even though he went on like he was interested. I could spot his eyes, and I caught yeah. Then when it come to it, I could see I went wrong. Mm. I spotted every one of them's reactions. I didn't even need to get it trained. I just know when I see it, when someone's interested or they're faking it, spotted it all. And I'm thinking, you experts didn't put, spot none of that. Mm. You didn't spot none of that. You just told them to work through it, try this, try that. And I'm thinking, he doesn't like her blood. He mm. sees her as like some little boy. He's raw saying how he likes the blonde one over there. How oh, could you not spot this? What was you trying? Best match. Best match what? <laughs> Didn't even want to sleep with her. I slept with her once and didn't go there again. Mm. Can I say to you, people are getting done over left, right, and said, 
get it done over. Another woman who had issues from being used and all that stuff, and you brought it into a marriage. The minute he still had his Tinder account and all them accounts open, she got real stressed, real broke by it. And I'm thinking, you're not healed yet. You wasn't ready for marriage. You never healed. Because the minute he did something that was on his phone, remember, it's love, married at first sight. He doesn't know you. He wasn't going to delete it just like that. But it showed her problems. I thought, mm, you wasn't ready for a marriage because I haven't healed from that. Because mm. she was all very upset. There's a lot of things she was really upset about. I thought, oh. You should have healed first. Yeah. Should have healed first. Real talk. Real talk. Any comments? Um, Anything? Think, or did I cover it all? I think you covered it all, man. You lost me. But I do know that, like, like I, don't know. <laughs> I think all that stuff should be. <laughs> People shouldn't be getting married, like you said. And I don't know, man. It's, uh, yeah. It's a, it's a difficult topic, man. Difficult. People just seem to pick the wrong people. Jumping. You know, and, and they make mistakes. That's why people should get married. I guess all these people on, on the show are young as well, isn't it? They're like... No. All I different know. ages. What? I think it was like from 28 upwards to about 40 to 50 odd. And I don't, I didn't see any one of them. When I looked it up, I didn't see that any one of them worked out. As beautiful as it seemed, it was with other people. And I thought, okay. Hmm. Interesting. You tell me you didn't feel, if you don't feel a spark, don't push it. That's what I've learned in life. If you don't feel that spark, don't push it. Don't force it because it won't work. You're supposed to have that immediate connection like, yeah. Stop wasting time. I thought about this before. Stop wasting your time. It's not there. Oh, it's I know you want it. It's not there. It's been going on for 11 seasons, man, already. Yeah, because it makes great TV, Australia. but it's still not learning. <laughs> they're not learning. That's the problem. They're not learning. That's why they can keep, do, keep doing the shows, because no one's learning. You know what I'm saying to you? Some want to be on TV and milk it for all it's worse. Some of them are in it for, like, business gains, like one of them was. And other people are just not learning. They haven't healed. They're desperate to find love. I'm like, no, find yourself find yourself and heal then you'll find what you really need because when you're scarred you're not going to find the right one you're mm. getting hungry and picking up narcissistic people that are looking for that weirdo that we can get my stand strong and make the strong person come towards you you know what i'm saying it's, it's <laughs> why so people uh, going up mm, look at all this how it happens and it's always like it didn't last long it ended now they might mm. date someone mm. else yeah. Everything going unfortunately, she failed to find a door and just wanted to walk through it and decided yep. to end the relationship. Yep. They were a breakup and being a mutual decision that there were no hard yep. feelings between them. Of course, yep. no hard feelings. Like you date someone for three months and then you hate their guts and then that's it. How do you think? <laughs> how can you think you marry somebody <laughs> after one date on the first date? I think that's going to last when it takes you, it takes you like at least two years to get to know somebody properly exactly Real the first year is going to be uh, like the highest points and the lowest points in the first year that's you can get mm-hmm. to. Then after that you start thinking okay can i decide to stay with this person or not most people break up within the first three to six months because it's just mm-hmm. too much exactly uh, you know all these high you know the honeymoon period all the great sex and everything's great and you just have loads of sex and after that you start realize oh this girl's got a i don't like butt. you man this guy's got a stinky butt and all of a sudden he's like nah suck it oh my god the stinky butt that's the next talk we come going straight in from skipping all the ten of them <laughs> yeah let me jump straight in here let me jump straight in so you know all them times when man used to say oh pum pum stinks and all them thing there oh man yeah. <laughs> you never you never know say about a stink <laughs> yeah. I was thinking hold on not what every time I heard of this, I used to always look down the comments, see if the girl's gonna come with with your balls though. You know what I'm saying to you? Lift up them balls and you smell the scent. Bear in mind a woman has a hole to go into, a man don't, so why is it who's worse really? Do you get what I'm saying to you? We have a whole whole line that's gonna come all the way from the womb downwards. And the man's only got a section where the balls hang. You tell me couldn't quick wipe there. We can't wipe on the inside. We have to wait for that to travel all the way down. 
you get me? And when you enter that clock, you better hope there's nothing left in there. You know what I'm saying to you? Because you can't be that's douching. Not, that's not true, man. You have to get knuckles deep in there, man. In the butt, too. You have to get knuckles deep in the butt. <laughs> to go straight up in that crack yo i'm talking about the bar crease the i nearly fuck yeah, the, the bar balls, like... the, the sweat drips off my balls the sweat drips yeah. off my balls. Ah, I don't clean up. you know it's... <laughs> but... i remember that tune that was sick <laughs> you gotta do, you gotta... <laughs> Girls talking about the cheese when they're ready to give that blow. Job of thinking what no one's only now you're gonna bring it up years on down line and be a man's in bashing you out of their front and i'm thinking yo girl I understand they put his dirty things in your front, dirty fingernails near your claw, and now you've got BV love because you're trying to wash that away and it washes around the good bacteria and it's telling you about your frowsy claw. It's not because you're frowsy because you're dirty, it's because you was clean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying to you? Other times the period ain't finished yet, it's still going to come through and I'm being real with you. When you ejaculate in a girl, it takes ages to come out. In that time, it doesn't smell good. You've got to say to you, it's not because the girl's dirty, she's washed, it's going to come from all the way up the top and swim all the way back down again. Let's be real. Let's talk it real, because in the day, you have a child as well. That's female. You have to educate people today, because everyone's, like, talking, going on like it's taboo. Be real with the things. Girls, men, put teach put your bars. daughters, teach your people then. Don't put teach the things. Put, put, put this bar of soap in your butt. Put the put, bar yo, tea, tea nah. bag, you're clarting some dead hole to us about you talking about a girl that has to birth out beer things. You have no womb in there. Nothing goes in there what you crack if you're feeling that type of thing. That ain't no problem for me, but I'm talking about your bar crease. You get me? There's no excuse for your bar crease. You get what I'm saying to you? But the woman has a whole area that has to come from top to bottom, top to bottom, discharge top to bottom. Both you get what I'm saying to you? The bottom line is they're both gonna they both gotta learn to clean their butts better and that's it. And make sure you put your finger in the butt, put your finger <laughs> in the vagina. No, no for fuck me. Scrape Listen. out the sides, make sure the sides and a bit deeper. At oh, least a couple God. of centimeters in there. What are you clean it, are... clean it out? Yeah, because look, the thing is, most people don't know, you know, if you go for go and do doo doo. Mm. Go and do a doo doo. <laughs> and then you wipe your butt. And you wipe, you know, some doo-doos, doo-doos have different cons- consistencies, you know. Sometimes they're like hard blobs. That's when you're lacking water, obviously dehydrated. And sometimes they're like really like gooey, like slushy, like the fuck? milkshake. That's when you probably like, like, like for example, like if I, if I, yeah, if I drink too much milk, like non-lactosis <laughs> milk, that's probably what's going to happen to me. Uh, and that one takes that that's the doo-doo that takes more attention you have to really get in the butt to get that doo-doo out because that's like really sticking everywhere put your finger in the butt swing it around a little bit it's not for six of enjoyment don't it men men just use uh, ass wipes man use them batty wipes it's just for cleaning purposes hygiene but do you think men should walk around with batty wipes now? Because really and truly, it's not a bad thing. Women shouldn't use batty wipes because it can cause them to set off. You got what I'm saying to you? It just sets them off and have to take a course of tablets. Whatever way you can do, man, everyone should be trying to keep themselves clean. That's it. It doesn't matter what you use. Mm. Whatever, whatever, can, whatever you can use, if, whether it's water or non-scented soap, whatever you can use that keeps you good is what you should use. And that's it. There's not, well, I think I've got it. I've got everybody. it. But they're, they're actually used, though, like I explained to you, having a JJ myself, it takes time for it to come out. You cannot put things up there because it washes away the good bacteria. Douche. Yeah, the, you got douches. You, you're not supposed to. It's not recommended because it just washes away the good stuff. You've got to use water, the shower head, but don't make it go up there. Give it time for it to come out. It comes out itself. It cleans itself. It just takes its time. Do you get what I'm saying to you? You're over cleaning. You're going to end up with a fishy smell of BV. And people are thinking because girls are dirty. I'm like, no, it's because you've killed off your good bacteria. And now it's gone fishy. You know what I'm saying? She was too clean. Because after sex, you're using soap. Water. Tear up your foot. Clean it good with water, but don't go on the inside because your body has a natural thing to make it clean and rush and run it down. But what I'm talking about is your bar sack. Lift it up and wash it because nothing is there for weeks to come down. Wash your, I mean, people, wash your son piece. Anyway. Some people should be doing that anyway. I don't even. Nah, know. there's some people that are nasty, you know. I'm being real with them. Some people are just nasty. I'm thinking, whoa, whoa. I'm feeling like I just fingered your ass, and I'm a girl. Whoa, uh, <laughs> not good. I'm, I'm not giving excuses, but for me, being 
you know, I don't see why a boy should stink at any point when you're going to have sex with your partner. You get me? I give women leeway because you've got too much things having to come the fuck back out, man. And it's like it takes time. You know what I'm saying to you? I, sometimes I wish I was a man because I'd fully flux the balls at any time, anywhere. Just say, yo, hold on, let me just make sure it's fresh here. Yeah. Women can't do that, you know. Because too many women are doing that for the intimate side. Let me make sure it smells nice. Let me eat this pineapple drop so it's like you take off. Fuck that. You're fucking up your immune system, girl. For a man, that ain't even your husband. If he's your husband, you better make sure he's right. It. <laughs> Get me? Because you're going to ruin your shit. That's it, plain and simple. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. I have to let the girls know, man. They're acting taboo again, man. They're focusing on them flipping Botox and lip injections. Focus on focus on your things, man. Shit. Especially them man them boys. So leave a baby wipe under there to us. <laughs> okay, should we do one more topic? Should we do one yes, more? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. What about... <laughs> why do people... Oh, why um, do people give up with on themselves when they're in a relationship? Then when it ends, what 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 next? I think the on. thing is so it says why it's still one of the last ones. Um the thing is uh, see when what it what it is, and I consider myself a bit of a relationship expert because I know that people are stupid when they go into relationships mm. and they feel like, you know, especially women, women are more guilty of this than men, but men are still guilty as well. Like mm. obviously they're just like, you know. Like you'll see a man who'll often get a beer belly, he'll often just go out of shape. Yeah. I guess, I guess that's down to not being not being on the market anymore, not really caring, you know, there's like there's no need to, you know, there's no need to be special anymore. You just like, yeah, got my girl now, I'm settling down, that's it. Settling down means putting on weight and letting someone else take care of you. And women too, women have it a bit, bit more difficult because they don't have the metabolism of men, which means they're not able to burn fat as fast was quickly so but and then once a woman has a couple of kids as well it's even harder to get rid of the the weight which is not technically true because my wife's had three kids and she's pretty much lost all the weight but that's because she's quite active so i think it's just i think it comes down to both partners being quite lazy um, yeah and not really encouraging each other to do their best and that's why i always advocate having some sort of some sort of open relationship or at least still continuing to meet other people yeah. because that keeps you on your game whereas that doesn't necessarily mean you have to go and sleep with them but as long as you know that you're still you know keeping your tools sharp you yeah know, you'll always want to look good but the moment of you course. start feel like oh yeah whatever then you won't look yeah. good for anyone. you don't want to be attractive for anybody and you won't be attractive for anybody because they'll be like i can tell she's married or she's or he's married because look at his beer belly or look at his look she's out of shape or look at her dress wear you know i think it's important but- that you try and have some self but is that the real you coming out? Did the people pretend all along? Or did you just become tired and just think, yo, I just can't keep this up. The kids are tiring and all that stuff. Because at the end of the day, you do have partners that will love you, but then there's partners that are like, I love you, but I still want you to be in shape and feel good for yourself. And there's people that will take advantage and push that, but at the same time, some people need that motivation. You know what I'm saying to you? Because... Mm. I'm being real. I'm not. I'm not shallow at all. But I'm just blunt. If I met you that way, I'd like you to stay that way, because my personal preference. I'm not into anyone who's overweight where other people are. Where it's just like, I prefer this race over you. I can't be mad at you for that. Mm. You know what I'm saying to you? I can't be mad at you for that. That's just what you like. But if I'm gonna be with you and I met you like that, please stay that way. You know what I'm saying to you? We grow all together, yeah, fair enough, but I'm not looking for you to to turn into someone else. That I can't I can't do that, I'm sorry. And I've got to be real, it's not even being shallow, I just it's what I like. Do you get what I'm saying to you? I don't want to date someone. It's bad enough when you've got to date someone who's slim, but the heavy bones are on top of you, you can't breathe. I'm like, can't you hold your weight? Yo, I'm breathing hard enough as it is, but you're on top and you're crushing me, man. You can't say that's one of the main reasons. Okay. So that's why guys got to be doing push-ups, man. That, that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, yo, I ain't got time for this, yo. I ain't got time for this, man. I'm like, yo, nah, man. I don't, don't want to deal with this. Mm-hmm. You got to say to you, I don't want to deal with that weight. And I'm being real with you. 
it, you know, it's 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 not what I'm it's not what I'm after. It's not what I'm after. Do you know what I mean? I'm just I, I feel a bit touchy. I'm, I'm raw, but it's a bit touchy. But I don't want to date someone fat. Just keep yourself beautiful. There's nothing wrong with that because I know it makes you feel good. I've been big and I've been slim. Do you get what I'm saying? To you? And it feels good when you start losing the weight, fitting in clothes, and feeling beautiful. You know what I mean? Stop music because you say, oh, um, you can be big and beautiful. Yeah, fair enough. Not a problem. But for me, you know, I'd feel felt much better getting in shape and fitting in them clothes that I would like to dress in rather than it bagging over. If that's your personal preference, it's not a problem. But for me, I didn't enjoy being big. I prefer being slimmer. And that's what I like. And I just feel like, you know, people should stick to that. Stick to it. Don't change because we're married and you eat more. Eat more but work out. Eat more but work out, seriously. Because in the day, I'm being real with you. The world, you're just in a continual competition. You've got to make sure that man loves you undyingly. Because we all kind of know that it works when a man loves you. And a man loves you. And I've been in that relationship where a man loves you. ain't going nowhere. Do you know what I'm saying to you? Won't go anywhere. But when there's a whole world full of frauds these days, you know what I'm saying to you? And there's loads of competition. And I'm not talking about Instagram. In your face, when you go to work, when they take a shit, when they walk around the corner, there's beer gal everywhere that might just grab him. Mm. Because not only do they look good because I've caught his eye, but they've got that extra spark there. Fight that fight. Don't act like people ain't faking um, pregnancy tests and all that stuff. We get me all faking that they've got money and they own a big business as a big man. You know what I'm saying? Do people still doing that shit? Mm. Just, just, just. Stand out there. You ain't gonna, no one's going to find nobody if you look in a certain way and be miserable when you go back. Look the thing before you're dead. Be real. Get me? People are getting locked down left, right and centre. Yo, look your peace, man. Look your peace and be real. But don't be coming into a relationship and turning stone cold Steve Austin and all that shit. You know what I'm no. No, you're just wasting a marriage and got big bills paying the wedding back. You know what I'm saying to you? Be real. Be you. If you want to be a, a, a bigger person, I was going to say fat then, but it's, it's just the term, I'm not being nasty. If you're that size, you're that size. Mm. But don't be upset when someone's seeing who you are and thinking, nah, nah, nah. Because I can't mind going when you take your makeup or the wig off or real, the girl realises you ain't got this job and they don't want to know. That's what I'm saying to you. Make the real one find you, that's my point. And don't be all typical sheep. Oh, that person said fat or this one. Listen to what I'm trying to say. Be your goddamn self. Make the real one find you. Find you. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait until the next podcast because I am going to go in <laughs> when I had to have the phone call about, I'm coming to you as a woman. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my day. Oh, anyway, wait there. Before, before we end, how's the gym going, man? Yeah. Get oh, uh, oh, yo, I can't even get to the gym, so I've had to put stones in the bag with weights in it and lift it on my back like I'm at eight. Real talk. Cardio workout. I'm gonna send you a cardio workout. And you can do that, man. No, I can't even do cardio, man. It has to be straight muscle building right now, and then on. You got bad knees or something. My feet, man. I walk too much. I do a lot of walking. Stress fracture. They said if you carry on, you just break your foot. I'm like, oh great, thanks. So my weight up and up. Now look. Fuck now. Fuck now. Oh, I, <laughs> I walk too much, man. Do a lot of walking. Bands of fat. So, yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh, man. Yeah, okay, then. This is uh, taking out the trash, Lee. <laughs> a great <laughs> Great job. Let's do another one. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, we'll continue. Continue. Here we will continue. Probably another one soon. Yeah, right. All right, man. Yes, sir. Good night. Good night. Good night, and God bless. Good night. Bye-bye.